So we'll talk about the fund, um, but I want to talk about competition first because obviously Tinder is there. They've been mimicking a lot of your features. You have Facebook getting into the online dating business as well. How does Bumble continue to differentiate itself from the competition? So we're we're generally flattered when when a competitor wants to come into our um, unique space. And what what we really stay focused on is being true to ourselves. We were founded based on values, and we're a mission driven company. And there's authenticity to that. And so as long as we stay true to that, and we just keep innovating beyond that, we're really not too concerned about competition. And candidly, Facebook Facebook has been in the dating business since Facebook started. Um, the fact that they're actually attaching a label to that is actually hugely validating to the entire dating industry. And Bumble has evolved beyond dating. We're a full-fledged social network for people you don't know yet now. So let's talk about the non-dating features. Friends, professional networking, is that a foreshadowing of what's to come or what you want Bumble to become? So the big vision of Bumble is to be the global empowerment brand. And we want to bring good people together at every level of their life. So that should not just bring you a date or a friend or a business partner. We really want to connect you across the board. And nobody in our space has ever been able to successfully do that. And so the fact that we've been able to foray into friend finding, networking successfully, and show that we have this lifetime value of when somebody meets a, a significant other, we don't lose that user. They can stay on our platform and friend find or connect for business. This is really showing that we can be this global platform for introducing you to people you don't know yet. Now, when you launched, you really changed up the norms. You know, women make the first move. And I'm curious how the trends have changed. Is that the norm now? And where do you see the online dating trends going? Sure. So yes, when we launched, we were the only platform to ever really put women out there and empower them to be confident and to own making the first move. Traditionally, gender norms suggested men always had to chase women, and you saw that spill over into the digital sphere. And so as we evolve with this incredible mo momentum of women becoming more empowered, we are also going to evolve. And Bumble is in such a right position to just continue building upon that and giving women more control through features and evolving uh, even beyond where we are today and I think you'll see a lot of that in the coming year. So you've launched a new feature, Snooze, yes. which allows people to take a break from online dating. Why can't they just put their phone down? Why can't they just log out of the app? So when was the last time you just put your phone down, right? I'm right there with you. So um, this feature is actually a great way to kind of build upon our values. We really want to engineer accountability and we want to eliminate rejection. So just putting your phone down and ignoring conversations, that's not pleasant for either party on you know either end. And so we really want to empower our, our users to take a break when they need to. And what's, what's the, the beauty of Bumble, why we're not nervous about losing our bottom line or losing our users is at the end of the day, we all need human connection. Even if we take a, 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 you know, a break for a moment, we need to connect. We need to find love. We need to find business connections and friendship. So we will always be there. But we are encouraging our users to focus on themselves. And it just is core to who we are. You know, you're looking at a lot of these big social media giants right now on Capitol Hill and, and throughout apologizing for their lack of accountability, the lack of, of you know, catering to their, to their users and giving users a break or or taking care of their users and the lack of you know accountability across the board and Bumble really we want to say you know we've been here standing up raising our hands saying we're here to bring you an accountable experience we want to engineer kindness and good behavior into the product through every single thing we do and we've been doing that from day one so it's really fascinating to see these giants right now kind of apologizing and here we are saying we've been doing this from the very beginning so let's talk about one of the giants in the online dating space which is match the parent company of Tinder, they sued you for patent infringement, you sued them back. I know you cannot talk about ongoing lawsuits, but how would you describe your relationship status with Match now? And, and, and are these lawsuits impacting you, the company? Is it impacting investor sentiment? You know, first of all, we're not raising money at the moment, and we are, our growth is not impacted by any means. Our users don't care about what type of a lawsuit the company might be in right now. And by the way, you know, we're staying so focused, we're so on track. And with growth, with scaling at such a level, comes challenges. And we're willing to weather the storm with whatever comes our way. But I have nothing but respect for um, their current CEO. I think she's a remarkable woman. And I think that, you know, we're just going to keep doing our thing, keep innovating, keep building and adding value to our users, and we'll see what happens. They bought Hinge, um, which was sort of st just stomping on your territory. Does that change the landscape for you in terms of public or private? 
going no. forward? What's the vision? You know, the big vision is to add as much value to the users and grow exponentially. We are going super international in the coming year and beyond. So the focus right now is going deeper into our existing markets, which will just penetrate the, the, the markets we've already had ex exponential growth in, and then really, really proving that we can be this global, international, high scale, sc very scalable brand. And what they choose to acquire and what they choose to do, that's their own business, and we wish them all nothing but the best. So I have to ask you about the fund. Um, yes. You're investing in, in women and in women-focused companies. Is the goal here to find technology that you could use, or is this just for the greater good? You know, there's there's a mixture of both, right? And I think we can add a lot of value to these, these new startups, but we really want to be there to help build the future of tomorrow. And we truly believe that the more women behind these new businesses, building their dreams, building the solutions to problems that we're all experiencing every day, that will be a better tomorrow. And Bumble is at a place now where we have both the capital and the intellectual capital to help expand our reach and what better way to build a more empowered future for women than to actually invest in them and share not only capital in a in a you know financial contribution but but what our team has learned over the years and that will ultimately add value to us so it's really expanding into this global empowerment brand and being at the forefront of connecting people on every different level